And what's going on, everyone? My name's Dom. This is Completed Circuit Podcast, episode 28. As you know, I've got my good friend Joe here. What's going on, guys? Uh, he's in a bad mood today, so he might be a little... There it is. Wait. Wait for it. Okay. And of course, we have the beautiful Aaron. Hey, hey. And Manny has returned for a third week in a row, breaking a record for the fourth seat. Woohoo! How are you doing, Manny? I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, Dom told me to shout out our Mexican viewers, so I'm going to say this. Hola, amigos. <laughs> Uh, that's all you're getting. <laughs> yeah, apparently, and I didn't know this. Um, so we've been getting emails that we're ranking really well in Mexico. So mm -hmm. we're in the top 100. We are in the top 100. So hello to all of you. Unfortunately, Apple's analytics do not show that data. Um, the way that it works is if, you know, when you set up an iPhone, it says share share your data with, um, do you want to share your data with app developers? If they hit no, we don't get any podcast data from them. So that that's probably why what's going on. So to all of you out there, hello, como esta, all that stuff. I actually, I am Latina, I'm Puerto Rican, so I can I can do it. I can do it. I have the right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. So uh, so we got some. Uh, we have a busy ass news week this week. Um, so Aaron, what do we got? So actually, I'm going to let Manny take this one because he's the only one who has experienced it for himself. So what's going on, Manny? Okay, so Capcom had a stream today it was maybe around 30 minutes where they announced a bunch of stuff um all related to resident evil the main thing was resident evil 8 um also they announced another game that comes with resident evil 8 if you buy resident evil 8 which is the re verse it's like another multiplayer game kind of like resistance that came out with resident evil 3 okay it doesn't look too good honestly but whatever um <laughs> but they also shadow dropped a uh resident evil 8 demo they call it a visual showcase it's um called the maiden for and it's only for ps5 so if you don't have a ps5 i'm so sorry oh that's a bummer but i played it it's super scary <laughs> and i love it and i can't wait release date is may 7th um previously i don't know if you guys may heard about 7th. the capcom leaks before mm -mm. so capcom got leaked and they like a bunch of release dates got leaked along along with that and the leaks came uh confirmed the resident evil 4 remake is in the works so whoa the leak sheet had an excel sheet of like their whole plans from like 2021 20 i think early 2022 wow um whoa. they got hacked really bad so essentially the original leak said resident evil 8 was coming out in april mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but may 7th you know that it's close enough. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, but either way, I'm super excited. Part of me thinks they went with the village theme is because they, they are going to plant, they're going to remake uh, Resident Evil 4. They could just use the same assets from from this game right. to remake that game. Interesting, right. okay. Um, And also, they, have you guys played Resident Evil 4? Not 4, uh, mm -hmm. just 7, 5, and that's it for me. So they're bringing back the Merchant. Um, he was originally in Resident Evil 4. It's not the same guy, but it's the same system they're using, mm -hmm. along with like the same inventory that they use in Res Resident Evil 4. So I'm pretty excited about this game. Really excited. Nice. It's yeah, the no. Demo was great too. Seven was seven was excellent. Um, scary, scary as hell. Like <laughs> scary as hell. So um, this 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 looks good. At least from the the thing we saw. What is it? Last year, um, during the PS5 event, mm -hmm. um, it lo it looks really good. So I'm I'm really excited to play this one um uh, yeah it, it was impressive i'm glad they're going back to the scary things i know people were, like re6 was just people said it was just garbage yeah i never yeah. played it it looked bad yeah it, it, looked bad. <laughs> it was all action <laughs> it was all action gaming um yeah no i had a uh, kyle kyle actually messaged me kyle from previous episodes and he said like it's all ray tracing now like it's a it's a it's a technical nice. feat and uh, i don't know do we want to show the trailer to have a little reaction or did they throw a trailer up or is it just yeah. all action? yeah here's here's the trailer i don't know if this one is new or kind of older um, this story kind of crept up on me and I'm in charge of pulling up the articles. We could probably but find the newer one on YouTube. It might be easier. You think it, so? It yeah. might be that. That might be the trailer. Oh, you if think the, it is? This article's from today, it looks like. Okay. So okay. That's probably Oh, the fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's check it out. Okay. So <laughs> this lady that we're seeing here, the, the tall lady that everybody's been talking about on Twitter, is this the maiden? No, she's not the maiden. Uh, you play as like, you don't really see who you're playing as. I'm just, okay. the, the. So in the demo, without kind of going into too many spoilers, you mm -hmm. find out through finding some letters in the game that 
this lady, I think she's a vampire. They don't really know. Um, okay. Okay. But she makes wine and it's like, it's the, it's called the maiden's wine or something like yeah. that. Hmm. Um, but she's not the maiden. No, she's not the maiden. Okay. I'm pretty sure she's not. I'm, okay. I'm sure we'll get corrected. All right. Well, let's take a look. Of course there's an ad. Of course. Please, they're sponsored by whoever the hell this guy is. <laughs> a generic PlayStation 4 controller user. Credit cards. Oh, Nerd These Wallet. Are... <laughs> it's nerdwallet.com. And we are not sponsored by them. We are not. But if anybody wants to sponsor us. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay, perfect. Volume. Let's take a look. There we go. Think positively, all right? Let me know if we it's too loud. This. Oh, good for me. I know. It'd be hard to talk about anything else. The Capcom's been killing it lately. Yeah. Didn't they make Pac-Man? So That's Namco. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a Dark Souls vibe. Yeah, that's what I thought too, honestly. <laughs> Dark Souls 1. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Ethan? He's from because 7. He yeah, in my same character. Castle, hmm. He's already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda... Yes, Wait, are these graphics real time? The importance of the I think so. Holy crap. It looks good, dude. Down. It does. Oh, man. Whoa, holy. Cr That's in the demo. Okay, that was really pretty before my computer crapped out. nothing but blood and death. No. No, I'm not doing any of that. Oh, it's going to be great. No, I'm not doing you any of that. You are doing that. No. You are 100% doing that. No, I am absolutely not. No. If you want to see no. Dom, example A, get incredibly scared in a stream. Okay, I like her. Please comment and tell him. There you are. <laughs> no. I'm not doing that. That is incredibly creepy. That was awful. Did you get all the way through the demo? Yeah. Oof. Props to you. Oh, my God. Um, Speaking of, so just so because we can't see the data for our. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. There was more. Oh, there was more. Okay. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait after this. Oh, that's it. <laughs> um, May seventh, it's just a pirate. Um, because just a, just another little side note, because we can't see the the, the viewership data, we'd love to uh, hear from you guys. Uh, know you exist. We want to, mm -hmm. you know, we want to hear you out there. So we do have the YouTube channel. Um, you can view all this stuff. So definitely check us out on there. Completing the circuit official podcast on YouTube. You can also find us on Twitter because we want to hear from you guys. Like yes. seriously, eventually we're going to be doing this show live, and uh, we don't want you guys to miss it. So you can ask Joey questions. And you can mess with him and make him feel uncomfortable and 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 do it in different languages too, please, because that would just be that'd, oh, that'd be hilarious, be fun. right? Wouldn't it be so much fun? That would be super fun. That was no, no, I'm not. There. I'm not going to no jail with no gun and and zombie things. I already didn't like the, yes, the, you are. those those death moths, whatever the hell they were from Seven. That that scared no. It was great. Yeah, for you. It was it was okay. Watching you play Seven was incredibly terrifying. Dalton and I had a huge like thing going on of our own where we were just like huddled yeah. they, <laughs> watching yeah. you play. Dalton would come over. They would sit on the couch. They'd be like, all right, it's time for RE7. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. And they, they literally scream at yeah, me. Yeah, yes, you are. Yeah. And then eventually yeah. I would do it. And it's just awful. I hate it. It's, I think we all screamed a lot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Game. It is. They did, a, they did a great job. They, they did a great job. And if they're tapping into this one really well, like that same yeah. concept. Yeah. Oh, no. This no, no, no incredibly scary get those zombie things in a, in a dungeon no no mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so we're looking forward to seeing that may 7th again was the date um of this year is it a ps5 exclusive no it's coming on everything ps4 okay. P xbox one and all that stuff even it's the, just the, the demo right hopefully they bug free that? the demo is ps5 exclusive. okay, okay. the maiden okay. yeah nice nice all right um so what do it's we... available oh. for pre-order 
now too. Oh, perfect. So That's know. true. Yeah, perfect. I mean, all the games are now available. <laughs> They're always available not for pre-order. All of them. Okay, not all of them, but this one. I is. mean, we're still <laughs> waiting on Ratchet and Clank. Fair enough. So, oh, I mean, once they like do an announcement date eventually, yeah. But okay, no, all's good. All's good. Um, so what do we got? Uh, what do we got next? There's lots of Resident Evil stuff. Um, oh, okay. Cyberpunk, and this one was one that Joey mentioned today. Yeah. Joey, you want to start us off with a story? Because <laughs> this, <laughs> I can't even believe this. Joey's making awkward faces. <clears throat> Here we go. Cyberpunk. Uh, their price went down to thirty dollars. Only in the disc format. Oh wait, digitals are still. Oh, well, I mean, you can't even buy it on PS. Oh, oh yeah. right, you can't even buy it, and so it might as well be, man. So basically. They're probably putting it on sale to get rid of the stock. Yeah. yeah. At that, Best Buy, it's $30, as Manny looked up a minute ago. Mm-hmm. Right? That's, I mean, I, I don't I don't have words. That's, that, I mean, that, that's bargain bin sales. That is, um, I mean, Grand Theft Auto V is rarely on sale for 30 bucks. Yeah. Um, it, to be honest, it kind of pisses me off a little bit because I paid full price <laughs> for this game and I've touched it twice yeah wait where'd you buy it though what are you playing on, on the playstation store on the playstation okay yeah. that yeah, makes sense i did and i really don't want to buy the disc versions of stuff because they do just like the boxes of the disc get in the way right. you know i'm kind of like leaning towards digital now which i used to not because i liked the the library but now it's like i understand that yeah yeah 100%. yeah so it's like kind of annoying that i could have saved half the money yeah on a it's game that's buggy. Less yeah. than a month. Yeah. You know what's funny? Oh, my God. Remember we did that story on all those people? Like, they were like somebody bought uh, the, the yes. leaked um, Cyberpunk for like $4,000, 1400 yep. bucks. Like, 10 you- days <gasps> before it released. Yeah. It was, dude, oh, my God. It was ridiculous. And it's just like, well, here you go. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's karma for you. Yeah. Um, $3,970 cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when people say, what was it? Mark Zuckerberg bought what was it, Instagram for like a, over a billion? But yeah. then the guy's like, well, I got it on the app store for free. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same same energy. Yeah. yeah. That's it's, funny. It, it, it's just, I mean, CD Projekt Red seems to be wanting to do the right thing. They're coming out, you know, they're talking about like the DLC and adding extra content and all the other stuff that's missing. But like I said, I'm not playing it until at least April um, to try to get that experience. But okay, I mean, that's... That the just PC goes to version's show. fine for the most part. I didn't have that too, that many issues. Are you even playing it on PC? Yeah. Yeah, I played it. I beat it. Okay. Actually, there was a poll earlier that I was looking at, and I don't remember if it was GameSpot, but it was one of those kind of outlets on Twitter. They did a poll on what was the best PC game of 2020, and Cyberpunk was in the lead. Surprisingly, I voted for Cyberpunk just to see what other people said, and Cyberpunk... Like, my vote didn't push it over to the lead. It was the lead. Yeah, wow. I was very surprised. I thought Final Fantasy VII Remake and, like, The Last of Us 2 got Game of the Year and all that stuff. Those yeah, are the but big that's games of the year. PC, well, though. The poll was oh, yeah, yeah, I missed said. the part. I got you. I and got it you. is just a poll. So it's just people on Twitter. It's yeah. not some official, like, looking at all of the reasons why all the details Maybe all those stuff. people that voted had the same thought you did. It's <laughs> like, yeah, it me... can't possibly be Cyberpunk. <laughs> let me vote for that. <laughs> just to see the results. That is very possible. That would be, that'd be messed up. So they are supposed to be releasing a patch within the next 10 days for fixing most of the bugs, hopefully. Um, That's a PS4 patch. Yes. Okay. So the PS5. So, okay, because technically the game isn't a next gen console game yet. Mm -hmm. They haven't released that part of the game. Mm -hmm. So all of the patches are for the versions of the PS4 and the the Xbox. I see. I gotcha. Um, So they're releasing a patch and then hopefully towards the end of this year of 2021, we should start seeing the actual PS5 and Xbox Series X yeah. S versions. So that should be nice. I but mean, we'll they, see. Hopefully they do a bang up job with that just to helpfully redeem themselves. Because I really do want to see a Witcher 4. And I think between the lawsuits and everything like that, they yeah. keep getting hit with. This is yeah. just, th- this whole fiasco with them has just been a, it's, it's just been a know, thing. Man. They deserve it. They deserve all of it, man. Yeah, I don't think the devs do. I think the business guys do. Business guys for sure. Yeah, not the devs. Yeah, I mean the devs did what they. You know, it's it's tough, man. That stuff's tough. It takes time, and the business folk don't understand that. Um, the unfortunate part is when you run a company with someone who knows 
like coding and the business side, then they're real assholes. I worked for them before and they're just like, because they know. So it's not like you get that, that moment of like, you know, like you, you mentally, you know, you, you, sometimes you just, you're sitting there typing code and you're just hitting your head against the wall. And it's just like, it, it, it's like, you, you just need that mental break. And because mm-hmm. they know like how much time it actually takes and they understand the mental yeah. break part is like, you're taking too much of a mental break. And it's just, it's yeah. pain in the ass. It's a pain yeah. in the ass. So it's, I don't know. It's, it sucks. It really I, know, sucks I know the idea on a different scale because I'm nowhere close to that department, but I do know when you actually have a boss that knows what you're talking about and you're like, it's going to take me a week. And they're like, no, you should be able to do it in two days. Yeah. And you're like, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> really? Brutal. Why? It's, it's brutal. <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> um, okay. Well, cool story. Cool story. Um, what do we got? Uh, what do we got next? What is this? So UK game retailers or retailer game is putting in measures to stop PS5 scalpers. Okay. So this is an extension to the government thing. Joey mm-hmm. just sent me, he was just, he was, there's apparently more articles coming up like this. He just sent me something recently um, about the, the UK and their laws and stuff like that. This is uh, so, I mean, UK is doing it. US yeah. needs to do it. Jesus yeah. Christ. There was, did anybody else see that story? Uh, it was popping up on Twitter. Like apparently a bunch of, like a bunch of PS5s went on sales. Like, like, and then scalpers got like 2000 of them and they were sending out pictures like, Oh, look at all the PS5 orders. Da, 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 and they started canceling them. Um, yeah. I mean, it seems like they're, you know, the retailers are starting to do the thing, the yeah. right thing, but how the hell are they still able to do it? That's my question. Like at this point, make some software to stop them. And that, I mean, that's just me. I, I, that's just because I, I don't know. I know it's possible, but it, it's, you know, if they're going to cancel it, they might as well. I'm sure maybe they are working on it. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but oh, I'm sorry. Continue. Well, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. Just, okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, did more... anybody else have any thoughts? No. Okay. So. People complained about how they dropped the PS5s at first, but that's like the best way to do it if you're going to avoid scalpers and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Honestly, because yeah. that's I, oh. I was able to get three, like for, for one for myself and two for my friends. You know, I wasn't I didn't you know, I didn't upcharge them or anything, but through the chaos, I was able to like, you yeah, know, you were yeah. Able to find my way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what happened with us, too. Like, although that was more of the bugs. Yeah. The, the website wasn't working, so we were able to get them hours after they had right. released. And because I know how to read the the browser console, I can tell when certain requests failed. So when it was time to refresh and when it was not, so I know how to okay. read all that stuff. I was actually See, you say that, but I don't know any of that stuff, and I got mine first. That's so. just luck. <laughs> that don't mean anything. Where'd you, I got my Xbox first. Where'd you too? get yours from? Uh, Best, Best Buy. Buy. Best Buy. We managed to lock it down at Best Buy, and then the same thing happened with Target. As soon as they went up, like even minutes before, and this is like a typical. Like I remember back in the day when you pre-order iPhones before they had like the like they would do the installment plans and stuff. Like you had to get on it, you had to be there. Um, and like minutes before, you'd see Apple servers just tank. Like it just wasn't going to happen. And then I don't know when they 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 figured it out. Um, but it just seemed like at some point they just they just added a bunch of servers, and there wasn't any more problems. Um, but oh my, oh goodness. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have to hold on a sec. You guys keep going. I'm gonna work okay. on this, this squeaky. Joey, what are your thoughts on this? <clears throat> um, I feel bad for the scalpers, man. What the f- those poor scalpers? <laughs> yeah, the poor scalpers. Yeah, yeah, Joey's doing his pro scalper act again. Yeah, you know, everyone's gotta make money somehow. <laughs> That's a crappy way to make money. <laughs> no, it's not. How is it not? Look at Amazon. Amazon isn't filled with scalpers. No, but they're filled with something else. Anyways. um, <laughs> Go on. Well, I mean, you're the first one to jump down Jeff Bezos' throat. Because Jeff Bezos. You know what? No, I actually got... Sw- wow. Yes, that definitely. 100% needs to be... Um, Couldn't help it. The, um, Aaron, what is that in your hand? Yeah, Aaron. So this explains the bubbly, happy personality. Yeah, this. It might. So this is what we need to do to make Aaron like this all the time. She um, means her. D- for anyone who's curious as to, well, see I now. Do let's like put all- marker down because I want them. Let's put another marker down because you also gave it away. If you want to see what it was that Aaron was drinking, which any adult will probably be able to figure out what the hell it is. But if you want to see what Aaron was drinking, you're gonna to have to check it us check us out on YouTube. Okay. I tried to do a that Cardi B. The, it failed. Shut the hell up, the Joey. the lamest plug I've ever heard. <laughs> You're a lame plug. You're a Let's go ahead and put a marker down on that. 
I'm going to censor it even though I don't have to. I know. Well, I don't no, have this to. is perfect because you're going to teach Joey how to start doing yeah. the audio markers, and he needs beeps to put okay, in. Okay, put so. a mark down for that. And beep. you're a. F- oh, that was a, that was an, a, in see, an advanced beep. It was. It so, was. But you know what? The beeps aren't always accurate. So hey, he's I'm talking here. Go ahead. Yeah. <gasps> Can't interrupt people, but they can interrupt me. That's right. Remember that. Beep. We're going to beep all of that. That <laughs> whole sentence just has got to go. No. I love it because Aaron's, Aaron's having So she's going to find this funny for right now. Now, if this is Aaron without her We're going to have to put beeps on all that stuff. She would have be very happy. Are you eating the thing? Put the cup. What is going on with this pot? Okay. Are we going to go to me or are we just going to yeah. focus yes, on Yes, thoughts, please. Yeah, thoughts. I thought we were supposed to be listening to Joey right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. and that's... plus the fact the camera doesn't go on her if she doesn't talk. You need to learn that one. Oh, you don't understand. She'll she'll put herself just that little gesture she made just there. She'll go ahead and she'll put that in the in the thing well, while you're talking. Not when she's doing that. Not that. Okay, she might. Then. Anyways, so <laughs> this was. I'm sorry, viewers and listeners, um, that you had to listen to all this for no reason. I think that they enjoy it. Nothing to do with what we're talking about. Why don't you tell us what we're talking about, Joey? We're talking about. How scalpers are getting screwed by the government. Don't look at me. So tell us about it. Yeah. Well. (laughs) (laughs) You have the UK government. Okay. With their cup of tea. Coming down there. Saying. Oh. I can't do a British accent. So I'm not going to try. 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 Go ahead. No. Because it'll come out. It'll come out what? It'll come out bad. No. I'll end up. Okay, let's go ahead and put a marker down for that because I don't know if he's allowed to say that. Let's go ahead and put a marker down for that because I don't know if he's allowed to say that. No, in my serious opinion, no, this is good. This is good that they're they're actually taking steps to stop the scalpers. Um, and like Dom said, hopefully the U.S. actually follows, which I doubt, though, because the U.S. has more things to more important things right now to focus on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the U.S. needs government intervention, but I do think that the retailer should be doing something. No, they need yeah. government intervention. Retailers retailers are going to make their money the way they make their money. See, I did a little research on that. I actually have a video coming out um, about um, responding to the scalper comments for the scalper video. Um, there's a little bit more nuance to it. As far as net profits go per console, Best Buy, they don't, they don't make anything. They make bare minimum in net profit so it's actually not advantageous to them at all if anything it's more advantageous for them to sell to other people who either a are going to go into the store and buy accessories or b i mean because that's how they make their money what i just said no i know but the scalpers aren't going to don't don't benefit best buy not in terms of profits they don't make as much money as people think best buy doesn't benefit from you going to the store to buy all those consoles anyways no but you might buy an hdmi cable you might buy uh, you might buy people are going to do that no matter what Right, but they can't if Best Buy doesn't have consoles to sell you because the scalpers took them all. If the scalpers already took them all and you can't get it from the scalper, then no. what, I'm what I'm saying, are you talking No, what I'm saying is if you are going to a Best Buy and then, okay, you, you might, oh, just so you know. It so has you're the, saying the scalpers are getting the HDMI cables too? No, 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 they're not. What I'm saying is Best Buy profits more from the average consumer who wants to get not just the PlayStation, but maybe some games and this and that. They'll make more all profit off, stop. A, yeah, off a typical person than, than they will off a scalper who's just like, all right, let me get as many PlayStation 5s as I can. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> So it's kind of <laughs> like when you, when you go through the line at checkout and they have a bunch of stuff there. Yeah. When you see it, you're more likely to buy it. Like what, Dom, you like what into Dom did the store. with his Xbox controller. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Ex- I, you do that. You know what? Yeah. How many times I've gone to a store and I go, you know what? I'm going to get those headphones. I'm going to get the headphones. And then it's like, ooh. We went into the Apple store yeah. and you were like, See, Dom oh, let me a, get something else. Dom has a spending issue <laughs> where it's so bad that his poor girlfriend still has no ring on it. So if you would like to see Aaron get a ring on it, please subscribe to this channel. <laughs> plug. That's how you do a plug, ladies and gentlemen. That was amazing. That's just, that's just, that's just a blackmail ultimatum because <laughs> it's basically saying success for, well, first of all, I have no problem marrying Aaron. Yes, you know what? Absolutely subscribe so we can get the, the damn... <laughs> you f***ed it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa with the language. I didn't See, f*** anything up. Hey, mark it down, please. Thank you. Thank One of these you. weeks we're going to have Joey do the damn markers. He's going to see. It's hard. I give Aaron credit. She's been doing a phenomenal job. I that give Aaron credit. I'm not saying... Yeah, no, yeah, you I, tried I, I, it. I just did another one. There's a I beep. I realized heard. the... I said it. I slipped out. I said... You're the I one said, was trying to say... 
You're the one that was saying that, oh, markers are easy, and you're sitting there missing them all. I only missed one. You missed quite a few. Okay, well, you told me about it. I had to tell, yeah. Okay. I had to be like, Dom, That's mark fine, down. but you know what, as far as the Manny, audio track what do you goes? think about this? Yeah, Manny, I'm what do you think about this? Shut up, Dom. You know what, Joey, shut the hell up. Da- hell, that is, doesn't hell is allowed. No, I know it is. That's why I use it. So go to hell, Manny. I don't know if that one is. The, it is. Just go ahead and put a marker down. It's only allowed. Oh, that's right. Joey's going to start editing the. Ooh. All right. You guys talk. I'm going to reflect on some life decisions here about whether or not I should let him. There it is. Let's go ahead and just put a big old beep on that. Manny, what do you think? Before Dom says, yeah, Manny, about what do you what? think? No, about what? About that. Oh, about no, you're this? incompetent. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did, I did. I am so sorry, Manny. No, it's okay. What do you think okay. about the markers? The markers? I think the markers are great. We need more markers. <laughs> We do. We need the government. <laughs> just, just, just keep pressing. That's that was that was so much. Yeah, I'll know. I'll know when I when uh, we'll yeah, know when we look at the audio tracks. Yeah. No, when there he, we go. Let's go ahead. And, okay. So Eat this. It. Okay. Let's go ahead and just put. Just keep putting him down. Joey is just on a roll. So the next. Is that enough markers for you? Do you need more? No, that's enough. Thank okay. you so much. I appreciate it. Do you it. want me to wait till the next segment to segment to make more markers for you? Let's just wait. Okay. Know, we'll talk about it after. Perfect. I will ask you when we hit the next marker. Of course. No, thank All right. You. Thank you. Man. No, Manny, I appreciate you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you for being here today, man. Thank you for having me. Manny, today. it's my pleasure, but thank you for actually driving over here. <laughs> no, of course, dude. Thank you, Manny. I'm going to need gas money, though. Oh, no problem. <laughs> um, see Dom over there? This oh, is okay. his channel, so he'll give you the money. Oh, okay, perfect. All right, we'll perfect. We'll talk about it after. Yeah, square up with him. We got to make money to give money. Though. And we'll be back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're not at the break yet. <laughs> we are very close, though. We I think are, we have one more story. We are five. To we are 20 minutes away from the break, actually. Oh, well, we only have one more story queued up. So I thought that after the story was a perfect time for a break. Okay. Well, there's some, there's some fun <laughs> stuff, actually. I have. I okay. Have, I have first cool, of all, I have to concepts. say this because I was debating in my head to let this go or not. But I got it over you, Aaron. I literally sat here and you're like, oh, it's almost time to take a break. And I'm like, smoke crack. And you missed it. I heard it. I just didn't realize that there should be a marker there. <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> smoking crack is okay to put on the podcast. I almost feel like it, it's going to be because I don't feel like going through all that audio to find that. So I'm just I, that just might have to go through. You might you might have just found a way to just sneak stuff in. Aaron will be like someone will be in the middle of a, of a segment. Manny or myself will be doing something. Okay, so here's my thoughts on MacBooks. Da, 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 da. And it's basically that. Now we can allow that going through it because you're not technically calling someone that name, so it's not. No, bad. it counts. Family Guy found the ultimate bypass, though. Okay, so this is technically allowed. I was watching Family Guy the other day, and the the, the chicken was dying, and so apparently the chicken, who's a male, uh, his wife divorced him. Oh, yeah. Right, wasn't it? So the wife divorced him, and the wife ended up marrying a bigger cock, and <laughs> as Peter, in a rooster. As in, and then Peter immediately looked at the camera and said, "We're gonna have to beep this one since, out." Since was cock- it a rooster? It was technically a rooster, yes. And <laughs> and he said, "He it, it literally was so funny because after that happened, he's like cock meat. <laughs> he's like cock meat chicken, and like he did he did a fourth wall break, and I just, <laughs> it was." It was <laughs> I was dying. I was. Oh my god! It was so Manny's funny. Manny's not finding this funny. Can we move on, please? Yes, please. You're welcome, Manny. Manny. Appreciate it. No problem, Manny. Wow, I appreciate full you. Stop. Okay, fine, Manny. Jesus Christ, calling the shots. Um, please don't say that name. Twenty twenty one MacBook Pro will ditch the Touch Bar and bring back MagSafe, says reports. That's our next article. Um, you know what? What are your thoughts, Dom, on this? I love MagSafe. Touch no bar, one cares. Aaron, touch what bar. I'm different. Think? I got my thoughts. I don't care. So I have mixed feelings. Oh. We shall see because I didn't like the touch bar at first when it was first announced, but I also didn't have a touch bar and my current laptop does not have a touch bar, but I just got a new laptop for work that has a touch bar and it's actually pretty convenient at times. Not all the times. There are sometimes when I really don't like it, but shout out to your work for giving you that laptop. Yeah. My company okay. is awesome. Your I love company them so is awesome. much. Shout out to Aaron's company. Get off. I don't know the name of we're, it. We're not sponsored by them. We're, we're not going to say it because that's too much personal information, but I would like to shout out to them. They they help the world. I'll share personal they really information. Do. No, no, no. 
The address so, here is... Bah, 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 bah. <clears throat> no, go ahead. So one of the things that I have found the most convenient, and I don't know who all experiences a bunch of Zoom calls. Like, I hate Zoom. For some reason, Zoom is really complicated for me. I don't know why. Um, and the touch bar, as long as Zoom is, like, up and open, it doesn't matter what I'm looking at or what I'm doing or, you know, if Zoom is full screen or not. It has the leave meeting button right there on the touch bar. So I never have to go searching for it. I don't have to hit it twice. I just go leave meeting and I'm I'm done. I'm out. And it's as simple as that. That's awesome. Now, I haven't experienced the Adobe products with it. I know that the timeline apparently goes into the touch bar. That's a thing. But I haven't gone into it. That's yet, been, but... I've been really curious about using the scrubbing. I don't think it's going to be as nice because you already have your finger on the touchpad and you can already do scrubbing. Yeah with uh with that but the the concept is is cool at least color yeah. selection would be nice okay manny what about you i know that this was part of the new rumors that came up so what are your thoughts on not just the touch bar thing but all of the rumors that you had read so i don't have a macbook i've been trying to get into mac os for a little bit no yeah. and i think this is yes. a iteration Stop. that's gonna be my first MacBook Pro because of the 14 2021. Yeah, the four they're saying it's gonna be a 14 inch screen. Okay, and that's like the perfect size for me personally. I think 15 or 16 is too much, but <laughs> you know what? This was last week too. We had a little bit of an inappropriate uh, subject matter with the, the <laughs> yeah, the, and their size and, and what have you. Um. This, this, I'm excited, Manny. I really want to just get you into Mac. We were talking a little bit about you yeah. possibly doing some video editing. This is it, though, man. I have to wait yeah. until this comes out. Um, I'm afraid, though, because, like, Aaron, you sold me on the, mat, on the what was it, touch on bar? On the touch bar. On the touch bar. And now, now they're getting rid of it. And I'm like, I really want to scrub. Like, because I saw you could do that with YouTube, too, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I literally got that laptop a few days ago. So I haven't okay. really explored the whole functionality. I can tell you, you don't have your F keys anymore. And so it can be really annoying when, like, if you just go to turn down the volume, you can't do that anymore. You have to press the volume button and then use your finger to determine which way the volume okay. goes. And that can be kind of annoying because it's like you've had so many. Joy's going to break. Well, if you don't have a Mac, then you Whoa. haven't had so many years with the. Pretentious? No, I'm talking about the. I'm just, I'm just messing like, I mean, if you don't have a muscle, Mac, you won't know. Muscle memory. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> and I don't know Windows computers, so they could have the same thing. Some do. It's hit or miss. But I know that for me, I've had this same like keyboard layout since 2012. And so I know exactly where I want to go, what I want to do. And with the touch bar, that those keys are no longer there. So it makes it complicated. And like I said, I just got it a few days ago. So it is possible that... <clears throat> Maybe you can like make them stay up there the whole time. Hmm. I, really I think there know. is a way to do that to make it so they just rep they they recreate those touch keys. Um, which I mean, the concept of the touch bar seems like it's correct, but people don't seem to be responding. It, it's just it's yeah. an interesting like it's a divisive yeah. issue. I'm yeah. only afraid though because like, and I end up like not buying anything because I usually just wait until like the perfect product <gasps> comes out. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm afraid that like next year they'll they'll have like a touch screen on the MacBook. They're gonna exactly. That's what that, they're getting rid of the touch bar I, for. That's what I'm afraid of. That so I don't want to buy this for. one and then next year they come out with a better one, which they always do, you know. But yeah. it's like no, I'd they're gonna just wait for the one. They'll there, replace you know? the touch bar yeah. straight out between Mac OS, uh, Big Sur being all touch interfacey. That's exactly what they're gonna do. The news is getting out now. People are like, oh, they're gonna get rid of the touch bar, and then it's like, oh, and one more thing. It's going to have a touch screen this year or next year. Whatever these are, my prediction right now is that these are going to have a touch screen. You think so? That's I hope what I'm so. thinking. I that's really do hope that's so. going to be their way of kind of to the people who like the touch bar because you're going to have those people that like the touch bar. Now you don't want to you don't want to piss those people off and stop them from buying your stuff. So you just basically recreate all the touch functionality on the screen. It's called yeah, but iPad. I don't think it'll work that way. I think it, I think well, it won't well, work exactly the same way. But for people who like the touch buttons. And yeah. yes, it is called an iPad, Joy, but the iPad doesn't the iPad doesn't have until apps like Java apps and a bunch of other types of apps can be loaded on here. Like I use a lot of JetBrains products and they're all written in Java. Because you can't put Java on this thing, you can't run those apps. And so until that happens, um, like because even even when they do the switch to ARM, it doesn't help them because if you can't put a Java version of ARM or an ARM version of Java on here. 
they're still never going to release it on here. They're never going to recode their thing specifically for this, even though there's a huge community that wants all of those JetBrain products on their on their on their iPad. Like there's a huge community, but they literally come out and said we're not doing that because um, I mean it's a huge undertaking. So therein lies the issue with the iPad because it's not it's still an iOS device before it's a computer, but that's just me. Anyway, um, yeah, but that's that's my prediction. Calling it here. They're going to make that thing. They're going to make it a touchscreen. I hope so. I hope you're right. A lot of people have been asking. A lot, and, and Steve Jobs always said, like, well, I don't like touchscreen because, you know, you're typing and then you got to move your arm and you got to interact with it. This is a bad experience. But people love the touchscreen. And Tim Cook has been making <laughs> that people like. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, But I, I, I'm more excited for MagSafe than anything else. I think MagSafe is one of the best yeah. charger technologies yeah. ever made. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen this, Manny. I don't know if any, if, if Joe, you've ever seen this, but like when you have a Windows laptop and uses the standard like drum plug. I'm going to go ahead and do this on camera so you can see, right? It goes in like that. Um, it, like that little connector eventually over time, if it's not really well made, gets loose. it loosens and it breaks mm-hmm. off the damn motherboard and then you're screwed. But MagSafe never does that. Like you might have other yeah. issues with MagSafe, but never that one, which yeah. is, I've seen that happen on Asus laptops so many times. I, yeah. I, seen people say that the magsafe stuff might be related to the like they're gonna do wireless charging on the like in <coughs> that area just to point it out I, okay. sorry like in the next to the touchpad mm. that that's what they people think they the magsafe might be referring to for your phone oh you could just snap it on your oh. rather than just like the actual connector since they're probably like are they USB C already to charge 2019 is USB C chargers yeah. since okay. 2017 I don't know since, or 2016, 2017, yeah, all those laptops were all USB-C to charge. Okay. Um, and you can charge your iPhone off your iPad because it is USB-C. The newer ones are USB-C. And I just was curious. I took a, a USB-C to lightning cable. And it charges your, your iPhone. So, I, mm-hmm. you know, I can see them trying to, to yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's tough, though, because, I mean, this, it's nice, right? You can hold on to the cable, plug and unplug your laptop. And it's not going to hurt anything. Yeah. And I don't know how many people have experienced this. I assume a lot. Um, if you're one of those people who has likes to have a cable and sit in bed with your phone, like over time, typically the wires will get all messed up yeah, and they'll they like fray. start poking yeah. out of the rubber or whatever coats it. And I think part of that too is that the main part of the cable that you're technically supposed to hold on to when you pull something out Mm -hmm. is so small that it like slips out of your hand yeah and you gotta and you don't have to worry about that with magsafe right you can just go up and down whereas with the with the standard plug it's a pulling action and while it's like not a lot of force over time it's eventually yeah it ruins your cable of course yeah amongst and that's the least of your problems if it ruins the cable you can always get another one but the motherboard if that that thing pops out you're done if you want to spend that much money because I don't know how many times I have. Sorry, that was just re- that was loud. My, my headphones are w- turned up way too. High. Oh, I'm sorry. Which one are you? I'm four. It's okay. We're about to take a break soon, so we're um, yeah. So I've gotten a lot of cables over the years for my phone because I've had a lot of phone cables break because I use my phone in bed a lot, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I <laughs> I used to. <laughs> buy cables off of Amazon or, you know, whatever, because the cable's like $10 versus Mm -hmm. spending $30 at Apple. Yeah. And it would work fine. It would work well. And then maybe like a month later, my iPhone would suddenly say, this device is not supported. Yeah. And it would stop charging everything. Mm -hmm. So like they kind of almost force you to get an Apple cable. And if we didn't have to worry about the cables breaking so much, we wouldn't have to worry about our off-brand cable's not working. We could just keep the original one that came with the phone. Yeah. Well, I mean, as that, long as the cables come with the phone. That problem's going to be solved <laughs> soon with the rumored phone this year, which between the promotion, I'm pre- like, it's got to be this year for promotion. But the MagSafe thing seems to be their way of circumventing. So apparently, the reason that they're switching from they haven't switched iPhones to Lightning yet or to USB C is because of the licensing, like the fees that they get from all the Lightning-based accessories. They don't want to lose out on all that money. Um, Apparently, the the UK or the EU, whatever they 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 made a law that says like all mobile devices must have the same um, the same charge port. Like they must all. Interesting. So if you don't have a charge port, 
then there's nothing to make the same. So supposedly Apple is just going to nix the port entirely, say it's for waterproofing, but really it's because they don't want to conform to what the EU... That's just a rumor. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's Hmm. true. But we'll see. Hi, Joey. Thoughts? Dom's explanation was boring, but Aaron, I really enjoyed yours. (laughs) Do you experience the same thing? (laughs) Yeah, when I'm in bed all the time. Cables yeah. just getting ruined. Yeah, they get wrapped around things. They do. Mm-hmm. That is n- okay. Yeah, especially with. Mm. Let's go ahead and put. A I think that's on called. That. <laughs> yes, and let's go ahead and put a marker on you too. <laughs> um. So anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break, and we will be back, and uh, we'll finish up the show. Joey. See you soon. Okay, we'll be right back, and we're back, and we're back, and All we're right. back. Okay, we got three. And we're back. We got four. Okay, he said it weird, but that's fine. <laughs> um, okay, so we uh, totally realized that we missed that the uh, Galaxy S21 reviews and, and and what have you have been dropping today as of recording this. So we're going to go ahead, watch uh, Dave2D's uh, review here, his little pre-review, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, and, uh, and let's see what this phone's about, because I've been hearing nothing but positive things about this phone. So um, I guess we'll get started. Let's see what he's got. Um, wait, oh, we have an audio issues. So oh, there, there we go. The design of this phone is really divisive. Some people are going to love this thing. Some people are going to hate the look of it. But I do it think is really that pretty. the purpose of this no, design, I like the design language a lot. Yeah. was to make it memorable, identifiable, right? And I think it does mm-hmm. a really good job at that. If you see the shape, you know it's the phone from the S21 family. And in that regard, they've done a really good job with you know creating something that does that but it's definitely not for everyone and in terms <laughs> of the plastic on the regular s21 i like it again this is going to be divisive some people are really hate this because it's yeah i heard plastic product yeah. and it should huh. be made out of glass traditionally these things are made out of glass but there's just so many advantages to the plastic and i really feel like samsung does a good job with their plastic back phone they just own it and they just make it a high quality nice feeling plastic what are the but advantages the black it's lighter doesn't I shatter briefly in like a previous gotcha. device this is not Cheaper. a special black i know yeah. samsung spent yeah. like a couple minutes during the presentation to talk about how this is like a really cool looking black color i think for most people if you didn't turn right. a special phantom black this would just be a regular matte black glass phone it's relatively unique for samsung mm-hmm. they've always gone for that glossy stuff but it ain't a special black at least not to me it's a nice black but i don't think nah, it's special it all right, let's talk about the screen. So let's go with the so S21 many cameras. screen first. This has a flat edge now, which is something that I've always appreciated. If you've seen any of my older Samsung videos, I've been asking for a flat edge on their Galaxy S line for a really long time. However, now that it's here, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think this is the move, and I, this is a way more usable and practical thing, but it definitely changes the kind of vibe you get the, from the phone. I've always thought that they looked cool in videos and looked cool in photos to have those curved edges, but the flat edges, that's just a a better choice for me. It Uh, did. The S21 Ultra, this still has a bit of a curve. I think it's the exact same kind of curvature as the S20 Ultra from last year. When I put them side by side, they look identical. If you like curved screens, this is that perfect mix of good curvature without it impeding with usability. So if that's your jam, this curvature will be nice, Girl, down. but the screens themselves are quite interesting. There's a lot to talk I'm about. Just saying. Now on the regular S21, we're looking at a 1080p panel, 120 hertz, but 1080p. Now on a Galaxy S device, this is not normal, right? The relatively low resolution, it's still high PPI, 421 PPI. It's sharp to the naked eye, but you can tell the difference. If you're someone who's been looking at a high resolution screen, like a 1440p panel on your phones for years, and you switch to this, you will notice a drop in resolution, particularly when it comes to just streaming videos, right? If you're watching high resolution videos, you'll notice it. Does it matter? 1440. It really depends on the person. For me, I'd be perfectly happy with the 1080p panel, but as a reviewer, like you're, you're actively looking for this stuff, right? You're, you're, how can you not, how can you review a phone and try, you, you can't ignore it. It's noticeable. See, hold on, pause it for a second. It just really depends on the user as to whether. This is, this is the complaints I'm talking about. For 99% of the people that buy the phone, they are not going to be able to tell. Like, I genuinely do not think 
most people that buy the phone know what the hell 1440p even is. That's just that's just from my experience when it comes to iPhone, any any device, they don't as long as it looks good, 99% of the people, they're not gonna care. They, they, they're just they're just not. And I hate when reviewers do that, like just say, you know what, it's a bit of a down, a little less resolution, but as far as I can tell, day-to-day use, it's fine. Like that's all he needed to say as far as like a real review goes. That's just that's just my two cents. I had to throw that in there. Sorry. Up to you, but the panel itself, even on the S21, is really nice. It's bright, it's colorful, it's fast, it's an awesome screen. But when you put it in comparison to the 1440p of the S21 Ultra, it's just on it's just on another level. This is a it's an amazing screen. Like that was really good. This is an amazing screen. This goes to 1440p, also 120 hertz, a little bit brighter. It really is one of the best screens I've ever used on a phone. Now, both of these screens, the S21 and the 21 Ultra, use LTPO panels. So you can downclock these fast 120 hertz screens to something slower, like a lower refresh rate when you're trying to preserve battery life. Like anytime it's idle, it'll drop down that refresh rate. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen this tech, right? I think, yeah, the Note 20 had it. I think that was the first Samsung phone to do it. But other companies have used it, like OnePlus 8 Pro that also used an LTPO screen. It's super fluid in the whole adaptive wow. refresh rate. If they're dropping down yeah, to 10 hertz no and spiking back up to 120 hertz in the next millisecond, you will not notice a thing. They've done a good job with that whole LTPO tech on the screen. And on the S21, this goes down to 48 hertz, so not as slow, but it does still seem to have an impact on battery life. Uh, real quickly before we get to battery, Interesting. the fingerprint sensor. So these are both using the new Qualcomm second gen ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. And they're supposed to be faster and bigger than the previous generation. It's better, it's noticeably improved over the S20, but it's not the fastest. Now the speakers are both good. The S21 Ultra gets a little bit louder and the bass is a little bit stronger, but it's not significant. Okay, battery life. S21, S21 Ultra, both have good battery life. The S21, this has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This thing gives like a comfortable six and a half, seven hours of screen on time. And I do think that the 1080p panel with the adaptive refresh rate plays a big part in that. Now the S21 Ultra, this is a different beast. So this guy is, in my opinion, a comfortable two day battery, like actually two full days of use before you have to charge it. I had to charge this thing, I think, two or three times over the entire review period. It's just weirdly good. And again, I really think the big part of it is the adaptive refresh rate because this thing can drop down to 10 Hertz. Like if you're sitting on a, like a website or you're just browsing Reddit and your, your screen is still, you're not swiping, you're not scrolling, you're just reading something. 10 Hertz is all you need. And the energy saving is legit. I really feel like this screen tech, the whole thing with LTPO and the ability to down clock screens, it's the future. If you put this in phones, you just get significantly better battery life. Obviously you have to adjust the drivers and the software to handle this stuff, but it's really good. And it's clearly effective at extending battery life on phones. Okay, cameras, S21, S21 Ultra, the biggest difference between these two devices from a kind of average user perspective is gonna be the camera system. The S21 has a standard wide and ultra wide get behind that design. photo, but then the S21 Ultra gives you 108 clean, megapixel super clean. regular sensor, as well as a punchier zoom. You get a secondary 10X zoom if you want that extra kind of range. And then you got the 100X space zoom. Now, in both of these phones, <laughs> the regular wide lens shoots really nicely. Now, on the S21 Ultra, you have the option to switch it to 108 megapixels. That is pretty good night It phone. doesn't make for a better image. The well, image quality is picture. very similar. It really is for people that maybe you want to print it or if you want that's to nicer. be able to crop in and retain the pixel density like you want the resolution it's really mm. for more niche scenarios but the image quality is good as you would expect now the ultra wide on the s21s are so good they're clean they're well exposed all the details there these shoot really well like i think it shoots better than the iphone 12 pro max shoots better than the pixel 5. if ultra wides are your thing i think you'll like this camera system but when it comes to shots that need a lot of dynamic range, that's where the Samsung S21 phones kind of fall behind. So in these shots, you can tell that the computational photography or whatever's involved in the software to make these images properly composed between like the bright area and the dark area, the S21 cameras aren't as good, both the Pixel mm -hmm. 5 
and the iPhone 12s to shoot better when it comes to mm -hmm. high dynamic range shots, particularly when it gets really bright in scenes. It is probably fixable with future updates, but in its current iteration, yeah, it's definitely a step below the other two. Now, in terms of the zoom lens, well, okay, let's talk about this one first, the regular S21. So you have a 3X wow. seemingly optical zoom, and then you go up to 30X if you want oh, yeah. to go with a lot of digital. Wow. And it's probably clean to about the 10 to 15X point, And after that, it starts to lose some clarity, it's but it is impressive. a very usable yeah. zoom with better range than an iPhone 12. But the S21 Ultra has a secondary 10X zoom. And you probably get to about 20, wow. 30X before it starts to lose its clarity, but because it's got space zoom, we got to test that thing out. Now, 100x zoom is like, it's really serious. You're not going to use 100x zoom <laughs> in most scenarios. For one, it's difficult to look at your neighbors. Shot, right? They've had <laughs> yeah. bedroom. software features to assist in keeping your shot steady mm -hmm. to capture a 100x photo, but 100x zoom is still 100x zoom, and it is better than the S20 wow. Ultra from last year, and it's easier to compose that shot with the software zoom lock, but we're still looking at very grainy photos. But what do you expect? It is 100x zoom. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about video. So both the S21 and S21 Ultra have pretty mediocre video quality, worse than I'd expect. Now, granted, the iPhones have always had a huge lead in terms of image quality on videos, but I was hopeful, especially with the Snapdragon 888 and the whole talk about the three image signal processors. I thought it'd be able to just do better. It's still just okay. Mm. The colors are kind of flat and even in properly lit conditions, it can that get kind of grainy. Me. So if image quality for your videos is really important, I think you'll be disappointed on both of these camera systems. The video stabilization is good though. Now they do record in 8K. This is something that I don't really get into very often, but Again, because of the Snapdragon 888, I thought that somehow the processor would just handle it differently than previous. Mm -hmm. It's still, I mean, it's high resolution, but poor looking video footage. Do with that what you may. I mean, if you wanna crop in, and that's something you have to do for your workflow or whatever, your hobbies, sure, 8K is available, but I think most people will skip it. Yeah. But the one area that the S21s do shoot better video than everyone else, it's ultra wide video, even in low light. Wow. It just, there's something about the ultra wide cameras on these Samsung S21s. They're just that good. Okay, a uh, portrait. So for whatever reason, Samsung's- How much, how much do we got after this? Use the zoom lens for portrait photography. They just use the regular- About four minutes. Um, okay, and I mean, I think we have the general gist of easy to talk about the cameras for the rest of the thing. Um, thoughts? Very cool. Manny thinks it's very cool. Very cool. I don't know. Yeah. It's cool. It's just another Galaxy phone to me. Yeah, more or less. Uh, I mean, the design language is cool. It does seem like they're they're trying to minify the the, the camera lens. I, I always like the Note 10 um, with what they did because it's like, yeah, it protrudes, but it's not like, I mean, the Note 20, you saw that thing. And even even this, this S21 Ultra, that is, that I mean, that thing is, it looks like it's going to fall over. Um, I'm a, I, I hate camera bumps. Like they drive me crazy. I think the iPhone 12's camera bump is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I thought the iPhone 11's camera bump was ridiculous. Um, I mean, and yeah, throwing in things like a hundred times zoom. Like I think that's like, nobody's realistically going to use that. But I mean, I was, I was, I was fairly impressed with, uh, with some of the stuff I saw there, especially that two day battery. I'm very interested in that. Yeah. That's super cool. I like that. I like, I miss the, my favorite Android was the, I had a note four mm -hmm. and it was amazing. So. I know you could get a pen for these, but it's not, I don't know, it, yeah. I like the pen and the phone, dude. It's the yeah. whole point. It's surprising now that I've like, so it's nice when, so in the YouTube studio app, and I don't really take notes with the thing, but what I've, what I've found myself doing is if I need to make very precise touches, depending on the particular app, like I can. Um, and, and so in that regard, I find it useful. Um, but otherwise, I mean, when you used your note, did you like use the pen for like, yeah. So back then it was a lot of note taking. So if I needed to write something down, I could just write it down on, on the phone itself. That was super useful. Even with the screen off. Cause I think even back then they had an OLED. Yeah. And I also used it for Snapchat back, back in the day, my friends and I would always compete and like try to draw like the most, like what's it called? The most, uh, detailed like, yeah detailed or whatever just goof off like mm -hmm. graffiti our own faces or whatever yeah and the pen was super useful for that even and i used to do a lot of like uh primitive photoshop 
Okay. Like with like whatever Android app I could find, right? Yeah. And it was that the pen was super useful for me to use the uh I use a lot of the eraser this eraser app I had that like let me make photos transparent with background. Oh, okay. Yeah, and just use a little eraser too. It was super useful. I miss it. I wish Apple would have some similar for phones too, but I, I've heard rumors that they're making a pencil uh, again, rumors, very weak rumors that they are like one of the iPhone pro features will eventually be, they're going to have an Apple pencil like option for, uh, for the phone. I mean, again, it's, it's one of those things Steve Jobs said no to, and I don't think it'll do well, but for those niche individuals. And that's what I like. One of the things I like about Samsung phones is while like, they're not necessarily for everyone, like nobody needs a hundred times zoom. Like yeah. realistically, and even 8K, I can understand if you're shooting an 8K to super sample it down to a 1080, having all that extra pixel data might give you like a really good picture. Um, but how many people are going to know how to do that? How many people are going to do that? For the average consumer, that's that's not what that's going to be used for. But um, the Samsung phones always seem to kind of cover that niche uh, for those like special things like in the LG Wing, the rolling phone, the Note. The, the RL, like all those things were like for specific niche things. I think Android covers that really well, where iPhone seems to be trying to get like that one all be all perfect blend. Um, so, I mean, I wish they didn't take, I think they got rid of the uh, SD card with this, this iteration. Yeah. You think so? I think they did with the S21. Mm -hmm. That's surprising. It doesn't have a micro SD card yeah. slot or the wall charger or the headphones. And that's so in the crazy box. to me, man. That's the whole point of getting a Samsung. Yeah, and Android in general. I mean, yeah, the, the, that SD card the, is the one of the first. Jack, the <laughs> they got rid of the headphone jack on on this one too. Yeah, but I mean, for me, if I were to go back to Android, I need like I need those two at least. You need right? the headphone jack. Yeah, your headphone jack user. Yeah, I use the the ones that came with my iPhone. Still, the wired ones because my AirPods are going. To oh, there we go. <laughs> and Manny figured it. Um, <laughs> the uh, wait, but you, which iPhone do you have? Uh, the XS. That doesn't have a headphone jack. So wait, do you it use does. the light? Use the Lightning one? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. But you can get USB-C headphones. Yeah, you can. I'm just saying, like, I just miss the dedicated thing to I gotcha. charge and listen to music if I wanted to. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. Um. Hold on. Joey just sent me a story here. I sent it to both of you. Um. This phone <clears throat> is at $800, by the way. Hmm, that's not an awful price, all things considered. Wait. What phone? That was $21? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It starts at $800. I just read something that actually the iPhone is cheaper than this phone. Well, certain iPhones are, yeah. No, they were saying that this, our phones are cheaper than the S21. Oh, yeah, no, no way. I don't understand how. Okay, well, anyways, what I've been, um, I'm not really impressed. And that's not just me saying it because w of. With that phone? Yeah. Okay. It's not just me because I like Apple. Um, <laughs> besides the camera thing, what else did they really do to it? To me, they made it really cheap. You put plastic on the phone. First of all, I had that phone that you have, and I felt like I can snap the shit out of it quicker than any other phone. Yeah, I can't tell, Manny. Do you know for certain if the back of this is glass? Because it doesn't feel like glass. And the Note 10, here, it, it does not feel like glass. This, I'm pretty sure this is glass. I think it's. I think it says it's glass on the website, but that yeah, does not feel like glass. It like, has to be. It doesn't. It doesn't ding. It doesn't. I, I don't know. Um. Sorry, Jerry. So. You have that. The camera thing, I, I to me personally, I don't care about the camera. Um, the 100 zoom, that's just not. That's a gimmick for sure. Yeah, That's a gimmick. Yeah, there, there's no need for cool. that. There, there's really no need. Unless you're going to take something in the sky. <laughs> the moon. Which I can't tell you how many moon pictures I I take. really don't. They I, never work. I don't need to. Um, function of the phone. The only thing that the, that phone has is better RAM. Now, with the iPhones, they are only 6 gigs of RAM, so no matter how big of the storage you get. doesn't matter if you get 512 or 128. It's only 6, six, uh, six gigs of RAM. Now, mm -hmm. with these phones, I will give Samsung this. Those phones, they change the RAM. Now, their biggest storage size comes with 16 gigs of RAM. There's 16 gigs of RAM? Yeah. Oh, this one has 12, so it doesn't No, surprise. they have 6. This does not have. Oh, six. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's Samsung. I thought. Yeah. I oh thought yeah, no, the iPhone. iPhones have yeah. Um, yeah, and so depending on the size you get, you the RAM goes up. So you have. I will give Samsung that with the RAM. But on the side note, with iPhones, it doesn't really matter because the iPhones are actually quick as it is. Yeah. 
So with all that stuff, the S21, might as well just kept the S20 and call it a day because there's really not much improvement besides a camera. It makes me wonder, though, what they have up their sleeve, though, for the next next year's model. If they're killing the Note or whatever. I'll tell you what the next move is. They're going to go into this. They're going to copy Apple and make their phones into this. That's their next move. Because, honestly, anything that Apple does, Samsung follows. If you notice that that new phone build, the S21, Dom said it looked like a Pixel. Yeah, it looked like a Pixel, but it also looked like a stockier version of this. Yeah, I think they're kind of positioning the... I think I heard this somewhere, so I'm probably repeating someone else's thoughts, but they're positioning the S20 as like a mid-range now because they brought the price down of these, I think, by $100 less or more. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But they're going to focus more on the Galaxy Fold, um, which would make sense, but they need to bring the price down to like at least... The Galaxy Fold is another... Pointless. Yeah, I don't phone. think it's pointless, man. I'll go. I'll get the point. I'll get the Galaxy Fold if it. Uh, the Galaxy Fold is easy to cheaper. break. I'm not gonna roughhouse my phone though. You not? No, you're not. But not a lot of people are. But I'm saying is, I don't give don't give Samsung so much credit with the hinge. That phone is gonna be easy to break even if you don't roughhouse. Right. That hinge is I not gonna be saying. strong enough. Over time. And I'm not even going to give it that much time. I say over a year, year and a half, that hinge is going to give. And you're not going to have a fold. You're going to have a half of a funk. I mean, at the end of the day, the biggest the biggest issue with the hinges is like, I think the concept of the tech of the folding phone stuff is cool. Um, I think Microsoft did it correctly in terms of but it separates the screen. So you have the thing in the middle and they're trying to make it contiguous. Have that, man. But you get the dirt in, like even the tiniest speck, and then you're you're basically like it's gonna start to have like that's that's always been my concern with the foldables. The rollable concept seems to be something because you can still encapsulate everything. And that seems to be a a, a more practical direction. Cause again, you're not making the phone any bigger per se. You're just like ah. okay that well that that probably won't translate well <laughs> okay. in audio, but I'll put it this way. If if someone gave me the fold, I'll take it. But would I go out and buy it? No. Because I had my hands on, even though it's not the same, I've had my hands on both. I had my hands on the uh, Microsoft, and I had my hands on the Samsung. I didn't like either one. Um, And with you having two screens that fold in like that, that's screen on the screen. Yeah. See what I mean? So it's going to be easier to me, either one, Break two scratch. What are you gonna do? Put a put a case on one and another, and cover the screen so they 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 don't touch. That's a good question. So I know the original fold didn't like have a perfect corner when it folded. It had like that like a little like a little opening. Yeah, they touch tips. Um, <laughs> does the new one do that too? Does a new not, one? Have, I'm not sure. Does a new one have any kind of? Because I'm wondering if there's actually. Because he's right. If you fold it flat, you're effectively taking two pieces of glass. And like, if you have but a, but they probably here, have like a lip over it, right? No, but I'm saying is like when you. So for example, like if you have like the laptop. So a normal laptop has this 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 yeah, rubber rim. That's what I'm saying. And it accommodates stuff. You know, even though it's really for keyboard and what it's have rim you. Rim on rim, then. Is With, it rim on rim? I'm. No, I'm, I don't know what the Galaxy. I I, I, have, I think is. it's glass on glass, honestly. Yeah, but I'm just wondering glass though, because it's uh. Oh, right. It's that plastic. Oh, yeah, plastic. Like plastic. Right. It is. And that's the other thing. I don't like plastic. I don't like the plastic. I, think, I like I like what Apple did with the. And again, this is not because I'm an Apple fan. I'm being sincere when I say this to me. And maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. Or I don't know how you feel. But to me, with glass being when you feel this, it feels, hey, I can press on this and it ain't going to break. Yeah, it feels premium yeah. for sure. But then it cracks. That's the one. That's the one upside to plastic is that you never have to worry about the thing crack. That's like, I, I have to give it that if I'm going to give it anything. Yeah, but here's the thing: how many, how many times do you guys close? And I'm knocking for a reason because I don't want to be that person. That how many times did you drop your phone and you crack your glass? I'm not going to win because then I can see me actually walking outside and be like, I cracked my phone. Yeah. Next week he puts a redaction. So this is what happened. But no, um, no, that's when I my Apple Care kicks in. Um, yeah. <laughs> but no, how many times do you guys actually drop your phone? How many times have you shattered a glass on your phone? One, unfortunately. I had a perfect record until the iPhone tennis. I'm lucky. You're lucky. Aaron? Um, I have shattered the glass protector that I add to I'm, my phone. I'm just talking about this. Not not, I, um, not your what, protector. What is this new? 
phone have? It's a 10s. No, I know, but do I have the glass protector on it? I because think so. I I don't think I've ever had a phone that doesn't have the glass glass protector on it. So okay. I would I would never experience. So that. you never had okay, Mm-mm. except for the glass protector. Yeah, exactly my point. But in all fairness, how many people have you seen? With cracked screens, because I've seen plenty of people with cracked screens. Sure, I've I, seen I them. As well. Right, so it, them. so it might not apply for us, but no, for a right. lot of other people. But what I'm saying is, and I feel like, and I could be wrong, but I feel like if you put a poll, which maybe we should put a poll on Twitter, yeah, asking what do you prefer, glass or plastic on your screens? Not protection. I'm saying yeah, just yeah. your screen. Because you there's want a glass touch aspect to it too. Exactly. And I personally don't like the soft touch yeah, screens. Right. I like the glass one, but that's also because that's what I'm used to now. Yeah. Right. I don't. Want the Samsung thing it just felt cheap to me. Yeah. And so if you're spending all that money for those phones, you don't want something to feel cheap in your hands either. Mm-hmm. That's true. So I mean that is fair. If you're paying that much, if you're paying that much money for it, you want at least a premium feeling experience. Like, right. That drives me crazy about the Switch, and I've talked about this a couple times. Like that thing, I whoop, feel like I can snap it. That thing feels cheap. Like yeah. I feel like if Apple made the exact same product, you know that those Joy Cons are going to go in there, and it's just going to you're going to get that like yeah. you know when you like you close some perfect, you get that slight little air pressure because it's just it's just it just it fits so firmly. Yeah. That 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 thing about the Switch, they, the Joy Cons going like that drives. Oh man, it drives me crazy because it just feels like. Okay, here's the concept. Let's make it for as cheap as we possibly can. Dude, cool you, console. You have to be manhandling your Switch, man. It no. Feels, it feels great to me. I don't know what you're Grab talking about. Grab a Switch. I don't want to touch your Switch. I'm not asking. You could touch Aaron's Switch. That sounds bad, touch too. I don't anyone's all Switch. I know, yeah, no, mine's Manny, all I'm saying is I've that. literally held on to a Switch now, and I, I can... It's small. It's a toy. If you right? go like this, loose. just right. even the slightest, yeah, no, it feels course. like you're gonna don't do that, that though. Don't do that. No, I know but not to do that, but it's the fact to... that it does do yeah. that in the first place. You hold an Apple product, you hold even a Samsung phone, it doesn't have that give. Like I'm okay. just saying, a little bit of build quality goes a long way. Right. Okay. So that's I, all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So I think we should do that on Twitter. Put a poll up on there and see what we yeah. get. Um yeah. and see if I'm right. I me personally, I believe that most people would prefer this. But let's have Twitter say and mm-hmm. see if I'm wrong. All right, folks, we're yeah. going to put up a one a one week. Uh, so that's <laughs> at Completing the Sea on Twitter. We're going to go ahead and put mm-hmm. up a poll. You go ahead and vote there as of hearing this. We're going to try to get this episode right, right away, which you probably won't. But we're going to try. Um, yeah. So, Joey, just in case you were curious at all, and I'm not talking about like dropping the fold or anything like mm-hmm. that. Like there are a lot of other things that could happen. But just out of build quality. So the Galaxy Fold has been tested for the hinge to last 120,000 folds. Right. Now, the average person checks their phone 96 times a day. So assuming that the average person is opening their phone 96 times a day, that means that the phone would last 3.42 years before the hinge starts to break, which, like, sucks, but is also kind of average on far as far as, like, how long batteries have been lasting in the past several yeah. years and stuff. Right, but that's the so, hinge itself. If you get yeah. dirt or something in there, it changes the variable. Yeah. If you're doing it in a controlled environment where there's no dust and you're just like Even besides that, that, here's another question for you. Let's say, actually, Manny, because you were interested in the fold. And Aaron. Um, you guys get that phone. And now you did your research. In your head, especially if I know you correctly, in your head, personally... You know for a fact you have three and a half years. Isn't that going to bother you because you're like, I only have three and a half years with this phone. A $2,000 won't, won't, phone. Won't that bother you at all? I mean, that's a $2,000 phone that you have, yeah. and you only have so many years until that thing gives way. I see what you're saying, yeah. but I don't think Samsung's going to update it for that long. That's why I switched to Apple because it's like Android don't like update right their phones. Yeah, yeah I still like, don't have the years. latest Android software. That's, yeah, that's why. And, like, and that's the other thing. You're spending all this money for Samsung phones. Now, and, and again, Manny... I promise you, this is not me because I'm an Apple fan, but it's just. No, 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 I it, believe you. I believe you. I see where you're coming from. It's my question is this to Samsung. You guys are charging all this phone, all this money for these phones, but yet you do not update your phones for how many years? There's people that have the iPhone 10 it, and how many, yeah. and they still it's get It's not the entirely update. Samsung's fault, though. It's the carrier's fault because, um, so when Apple first made the iPhone, they first, according to what I've read, they first brought it to Verizon and they said, okay, here's the phone. Verizon said, okay, well, we need the software so we can go ahead and update it. Steve Jobs said, you know, Mark already, go f- yourself. This is our phone with our software. You are just a carrier. That's it. They said no. And then and then Apple went to AT&T and then now we're here where we're at. And so when, and it, but back when it comes to this, I get my updates on this phone from T-Mobile. 
as well as most Android phones. To my understanding, I do not, I've never heard of any Android phone that does not get their software from the carrier and they want to put their crap on it. Well, first. then I still blame Samsung. It's like, not Samsung. I, it's no, not no, a, it's, no, no, there's a reason. Now, to hear what I'm saying. I still blame Samsung or any Android in that matter for not being like Steve Jobs saying, we are supplying the software, not you. Right. But the problem is, is that Apple, the only way you're going to get an iPhone is from Apple. Whereas let's say, let's say there are 20 companies that make Android phones. If you're like Samsung and you say, okay, well, screw you. We're not going to do it. 19 others will. And so now you're effectively yeah. strong armed yeah. because now you're the one that's not making but, sales. But that's why I said, I, I, maybe I didn't come across. I blame Samsung and all the other Android u- right. makers. Right. But they all would have to team up collectively they to should. make that decision. They're never going to because one. Then don't charge the people these mu- this much money. I mean, that's just that's just how they're running it. The unfortunate, so the unfortunate part of it is, is like, if you don't do it, somebody else will. Right. And so therein lies like the disadvantage to having the kind of open platforms. It's just like with Windows. And like, then it's a trickle effect because then you're taking advantage of the customer then. Customers, people, I mean, and granted, the customer has a uh, choice to either do the A or B, but at the same time, you're spending thirteen two thousand. dollars I wouldn't go so phone. far. I would say, I wouldn't go so far as to say they're getting taken advantage of. The unfortunate part of it is, and I think, and I've talked about this a few times. They're getting taken advantage by carriers. Well, not, not even so much by the carriers as much as it is this device, no matter who you are, for most of like modern society, is probably one of the most important things you have. You use it more than you live in your house. You use it more than you drive your car. Then you hold your wallet and you pay. Like literally, right. like the number one thing that knows more about you than anything else. Like where were you last December nineteenth at seven oh six p.m.? Your phone knows. You know, yeah. it's like it's one of those things where the like like it always bothered me that in drivers ed and stuff like that. And I promise this relates. Like. You know, you could be taught to drive a car, but you don't know how, you never, you're never taught how to change a tire. You're never taught what oil pressure is. You're never taught that, oh, yeah, if the little needle goes from the little C to the H, that's bad. Like, they just say, okay, you stop at this sign, you, you put gas down here, and you do, like, that's it, yeah. right? But the internal mechanics is, you know, it could save a lot of hassle and, like, people just knowing, like, oh, you know what? That grinding noise probably isn't good. Let me do an oil change. But in order to get an oil change, you know, you have to pay, pop the filter out. I heard a, a friend of mine say that his mom should just stick oil in there for, like, eight years. She never actually took the oil out. So they pulled this thing out. Yeah, it was bad. It was effectively like a fused rod of metal. They pulled out of the oil pan. It was a Toyota. It was a, uh, not a Toyota. It was a Honda. Um, oh, what's the, the Accord? So that thing, I mean, it somehow was still running. But it's that kind of stuff. When it comes to phones, I think as boring as it might be for some, knowing more about these things since we have so many of them and how just the basics for how they work. No one's saying you have to you know, pop spark plugs out of your car. But you know, just understanding the basics. I think would take people a really long way for devices that we use so much. Mm. That's my tangent for the night. And then the, this um, thing I sent you and Aaron, by the way, um, is the uh, iPhone 13 rumor. Okay. Um, so I guess the other the other stories we'll, we'll bring up the other stories next week. No, no, we're, we run, we're running over. No, oh. we're, we're yeah, we're running oh, over. Oh, then if you want to hit those, then we can have those for next week. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and just let's just finish up the segment. We'll include those. I I don't want to cut you guys out. The the last two stories about Lucas Films and uh, and Manny has a really cool 8K Sony Bravia 80 megabits per second. That kind of just gives away the story. But 4K, 4K. Yeah. Excuse me. 4K, 80 megabits per second streaming service. I mean, this is going to be a quick thing. I mean, uh, so the iPhone 13 is rumored to feature, which I'm excited, a smaller notch. Yeah, okay. um, Pro pro model camera, cameras to use a larger image sensor. So, I'm in, obviously, I'm not the camera guy, but Aaron, I'm sure that will be something that you'll like uh, since you do like taking pictures. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Um, so the smaller notch thing, though, I'm I'm happy because this 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 notch thing is driving me nuts. Yeah, it never drives me crazy. I never was affected See, by the notch. I, I never noticed it. Yeah, I forgot about it. You know, it was nice though when I got my iPhone 10. All the normal i like old iPhones were so loud. Everyone was using those, mm-hmm. and like having the iPhone 10, I felt so superior to everybody else. <laughs> That's <laughs> the Apple thing. And it's then, like with your AirPods. It's yeah, the same. exactly. <laughs> and then now. <laughs> We could have the smaller notch to flex on everybody. Yeah, you yeah, know? but That's it's not funny. the same flex. It's That's not like funny. the exact. It's not, but it's it's it's, it's in. The, yeah, it's, I'll take what I can get right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is from Mac Rumors, but they were saying um, they said the next generation iPhones Face ID system will see some design changes with the size of the notch at the top of the screen, the shrink, and their ultra wide angle uh, lens upgraded from five P to six P. 
Five P to six. Was that an angle reference? No. Um, seven P lens module. I don't know what that means. Seven uh, is that megapix? No, that would be that would be, they would use MP for that. I mean, I don't know until and this is just from this is just me being critical until phones can produce the images that they can produce without all the software crap that goes into them because sometimes those things mess up. Like you know, you, you take a shot with a DSLR, use Aaron's camera. I'll take a shot with DSLR. Like you can see everything like the universe like you know that part in, the, in men in black when the when the what's her face at the end looks at that little marble on the cat and you can just see in there like i feel like with a good dslr like that's the kind of level you get yeah with these phones it's just like it's like a fake good they know you're going to look at it on the screen so they they make the software make it look as good as they can on this screen take it into a into a computer sure some will look good if you have a lot of daylight but night mode yeah it looks good here throw it into photoshop but that's just me. That's just me. Aaron will probably disagree, and that's totally fine. The P stands for plastic, by the way. Because hmm. it's a plastic lens, not a glass, apparently. Oh, crap. Well, Joey's about to go on a tangent. Anyway, guys, well, I think that's about to end this episode before Joey goes on a <laughs> complete ballistic. <laughs> there we go. There. <laughs> um, This is a good show, guys. You, you, you like this one? Yeah, it was all right. Okay, whatever. So screw Joey. Anyway, so, um, yeah, guys, so thanks for uh for tuning in. Hope mm-hmm. you enjoyed the show. Like I said, um, to all of our viewers out there, we can't see your data, but we want to hear from you. So definitely follow us at Completing the C on Twitter. You can also find us on YouTube. You can watch these things. Um, you uh, What the hell is it? Oh, yeah. Completely the Circuit Official Podcast. <laughs> and uh, we will see you guys next week. So have a good one. See ya. Take it easy, guys.